Uh, you're our last speaker, Mr. Kahn. Thank you, uh, Adam Kahn, Kahn Man's Musings, testifying in opposition to item number 101. Um, I have a number of things that worry me about this plan. I'll kind of run through them. The first thing on the tax, on the um, increase in the hotel occupancy tax, we just had a long discussion on the last item that we considered about impact on tourism. I don't know that this will necessarily have a hu hugely fatal impact on our tourism industry by increasing the cost of staying in Austin if you're traveling from out of town, but it's not going to help. So that's item number one. Item number two, um, I don't think we need to expand the convention center. I think that this is a f expanding the convention center is a fool's errand. You've heard a lot of testimony and people have spoken already about how convention businesses uh, nationwide are essentially flat and cities all around the country are throwing more and more and more money at convention centers. So that's my concern there. I mean, Vegas is apparently going to build a football stadium adjoining their convention center. So please don't do that. We already have a football stadium in Austin, and, uh, but you know that's where things are going. So who's to say that we get this done and then all of a sudden, five to seven years from now, we're not looking at, hey, we need to expand the convention center all over again. And finally, I have to comment on tax increment financing. Tax increment financing taxes everyone to give subsidies to the politically favored. This is a wildly unfair process. Frankly, I think we need to abolish the practice in its entirety at the state level, but that's obviously another conversation for another day. But I really would don't want to see tax increment financing expanded at the municipal level here in Austin. And those are my concerns with the issue. Ed, thank you for your time.